Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a unique team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help our students to reach their full potential. In today's lesson, we're going to look at uh, how to find out or how to calculate uh, the highest common factors of two or more than two numbers. Uh, this is just a quick starter. If you can quickly uh, write down the factors of the following numbers, uh, you can pause the screen, give yourself a couple of minutes, and then we're going to uh, look at the answers. Just have a look at the answers of these um, questions. So for eight, the factors are going to be one, eight, two, and four. For 12, that's going to be one, 12, two, six, three, and four. For 16, that's going to be one, 16, two, eight, and four. And for 20, that's going to be one, 20, two, 10, and four, and five. Let's have a look at this example. We want to find out the highest common factor or HCF of eight and 12. If these are small numbers, you simply write the factors like we just did um, in our previous slide. Factors of eight, one, two, four, and eight. Factors of 20, one, two, four, five, 10, and 20. We need to find out what are the common factors so one is common, two is common, and four is common. Uh, so we found the factors of eight and 12. We found uh, what are the common factors of eight and 12. And the last step is we need to find out what is the highest factor among all the common factors. The highest number or the highest factor among all three common factors uh, is four. So the HCF of eight and 12 is going to be four. The highest common factor of two numbers is the highest number that is a factor of both the numbers. So find the factors, find the common factors, and find the highest common factor. Now here are a few more questions. Uh, you have to do these uh, to find the HCF of these numbers. And we have to do what we just did, what we discussed in the previous slide. Um, find the factors of 15 and 21. Find the common factors. Uh, find the highest common factor. Same with 18 and 20 and the same with 14 and 21. These are very simple questions. I will display the answers there. You can try them, give them a go. And hopefully you should be able to get the answers correct. If not, I will suggest go back to previous slide and watch that previous slide again. What if the numbers are bigger? What if they are larger numbers? It's difficult to find all of the factors. You can still use that method, but it's difficult to find all the factors and it's gonna take a lot of time. So how are we gonna approach um, solving the, uh, these type of questions. And these are the ones which are they uh, going to ask you in exam. So let's so look at this, up... this question here. Yeah. So what we have to do if the numbers are bigger. So if that's the case, okay, to find the answer, first we have to do is to draw the factor tree diagram and then write the factors, the prime factors like this. Now, after this, you have to draw a Venn diagram. That is what they're gonna ask you in the exam. They're gonna ask you in the exam, find the HCF of 144 and 252 using a Venn diagram. So you have to show all the working out. So anything, so you draw two circles there. That's the circle 444. That's the circle for 252. Any numbers, any factors which are common will go in this area here, right in the middle. So two is common, two comes here. One more two, that's common again. That comes here. Uh, then we got three common. 
that goes right in the middle. And then we've got one more three common. Again, that goes right in the middle. Now, anything which is not common, so in 144, this two and this two, they're not common. So they, them two, they come here. You can write them here. For this one, the only number which is left now is seven, and that's going to go here. So two and two and then seven. Now to find the HCF, all you need to do is to times these numbers. So two times two times three times three, and the HCF is going to be 36. Uh, seven is not the highest common factor of these two numbers because uh, the common factors of 42 and 84, the common ones are two and three. So instead of seven in the center, the number should be two and three. And when you multiply two and three together, you get six. The highest common factor of 42 and 84 is six, not seven. Okay, so yeah, that's correct. So we can see from here that uh, these are the factors of 42 and these are the factors of 84. And out of these, all these factors, we can see two is common. So that two should come in the middle and three is common as well. So that three should come in the middle. And we know to find the HCF uh, from the Venn diagram, we times all three numbers. So when you times all time all three numbers, there's two times three times seven, and the answer is going to be forty-two. Now there are a few more questions for you to do. You can pause the screen, give them a go, and we're gonna mark them in a minute. So the answers for thirty and eighteen is going to be two times three, which is six. For 28 and 42, the answer is going to be 14. And for 152 and 60, the answer is going to be 4. So for this question, you have to find the HCF of 18 and 24 because it says what is the greatest length. So for this question, you have to find the factors of 18 and 24. The, then you put the numbers into a Venn diagram. And then you do, when, when it's in the Venn diagram, the, then you have to do two times three, which is six. That's perfect. So guys, you need to find a clue uh, because they're going to ask you the same or similar question when it comes to LCM. So make sure you read the question properly. And the clue um, is this one. That's the clue. So if they say what's the lowest length, what's the smallest length, uh, then that means they are asking you to find the LCM, which is the lowest the greatest common length. number. Yeah. And if they are saying greatest length or the highest length, then that's a clue for you that they are asking you to find the HCF, which is the highest common factor. So in this question, they are asking you to find the greatest or the highest. That means they want you to find the HCF, not the LCM. And to find the HCF, we have practiced a few questions in the previous slides. So simply find the factors of 18, uh, factors of 24, put them in a Venn diagram and find the HCF from there. Just two times three is going to be six and for this question. Uh, you always have to relate your answer back to the question, what they're asking, uh, if that's a worded problem. So, where you can write the answer, the greatest length of each piece is going to be six centimeters. So, just have a look at this question here. So, a carpenter has two lengths of wood. One is 108 centimeters long and the second one is 72 centimeters long. Um, he wants to cut them up to produce smaller pieces of wood to build a shelving unit. So they all need to be of the same length uh, with no remainder, with no wood left over. What is the greatest, that's the key word, what is the greatest length in centimeters that he can make the shelves? 
So you can pause the screen, give it a go, and we're going to discuss the answer in a minute. In this question, we're given the clue in which it says we need to find the greatest length, meaning that we have to find the HCF, and then we have to find the factors of both numbers, and we put them in a Venn diagram, and using that we can find the highest common factor, which will then be 36. Perfect. So that's the clue here. Um, so greatest length, that means they want us to find out the HCF of 72 and 108. So find the prime factors of 72, find the prime factors of 108, put them in the Venn diagram, and the HCF is going to be the numbers in this common area. So we're going to time all these numbers, the answer is going to be 36. The way you're going to write the answer in the exam, you always have to link it back to the question. So the way you're going to write the final answer is this. The greatest length of each piece of the rope would be 36 centimeters. Thanks for watching. If you find the information useful, please subscribe, share and like the video.